This here is Home and Homesteader down here at the PC Eden Homestead. And since it's snowing, and I'd earlier made this video about life being a journey when I was working on just before I turned snow plow version 2.0 into version 1 3.0. I found me a piece of 3.0 with one of the improvements I thought, which was a metal edge along the bottom. As you can see, it just helped to create a stress fracture in the wood and break it. But my point isn't about snow plows, even though you might be able to see out here there's some snow going on. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I can certainly see it with my eyeballs. And you got a pretty good uh, view. Uh, the river's part near frozen over. And uh, life's about the journey. I'm out here enjoying the snow. Uh, staying up here over the winter from Texas is uh, a big adventure to me. I'm fortunate that I'm at a place in my life I ain't got to go into work and uh, I can enjoy, like when it snows on a day like this, I can sit back and enjoy the journey. I don't have to be jacked out of shape like I used to be about the snow slowing me down. But when I think about it, even back then, if I'd been able to practice as much gratitude as I found in my life that's helped me to understand it's the journey, not the outcome, uh, that makes life rich and fun. So even when things don't turn out the way I'd hoped, I don't get jacked anymore because I've learned that going through the experience of adapting and adjusting you know, being able to fiddle around a little bit and make new snow plow versions and have some fun while I'm doing it and while I'm plowing has really enriched my life. I know back uh, before I started to find some peace in my life, I was always worried about, it's got to turn out like this or it's got to turn out like that, called those expectations. And while I still have a general idea of what I expect from life, I don't hold so much to a particular outcome anymore that I'm all tore up inside. And so that makes it a lot easier for me to go with the flow. And when I act within my principles, then I don't get too contorted too many times. I can go through some pretty rough times. I can watch my new creations like Snow Plow version 3.0 bite the dust because I didn't think about at the angle I had to do this and that and I hadn't calculated everything out but I had a lot of fun taking version 1.0 salvaging it into 2.0 salvaging it into 3.0 and if it keeps snowing like this I'll be able to salvage the pieces from 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 and come up with a little bit different design have some fun pulling the nails and the screws out of the old one and putting a new one together much like when I was faced with some situations back in my working days where things weren't going exactly the way I wanted, I had expectations. I had learned a little bit towards the end of my career to accept what showed up today and figure out as best I could from my past experience and what my principles were, how to move forward and enjoy the moment I was in not worry about the past as I've heard one of my friends say it's history the future's a mystery and all we got's the present learned that from a new one of my new good friends up here in Oscoda but uh, enjoy your journey today the thing you think you absolutely have to have the new job the promotion the new life partner the new girlfriend the new boyfriend don't hold so tight to those expectations that you can't enjoy the moment of just being. As you're developing that relationship, as you're working on the current project, as you've got presented some new information, enjoy and be grateful for everything you've experienced up to that point that can help you peacefully adapt. And I think that can help you to enjoy life's journey. So my Homers, home, heart to heart homesteading 
honesty. Oh, wait, I got to get the tagline right. Homer's hour or some shorter period of homestead and heart-to-heart -heart honesty is to hopefully present to you that enjoy the journey, enjoy the moment. At the end of the day, I think you'll find you've had the peace and the strength available to you from the universe that you can move forward peacefully. Now, there are some days I'm really jacked about stuff. I'm sad. I'm not happy with what's going on. I can get through those and learn to appreciate that that's part of my journey and part of my travels and I don't have to let it control the rest of my life. Just understand it's there for a moment. Good, bad, or indifferent, learn to appreciate it, incorporate it into my going forward self so that I can enjoy the journey of life. It's not about getting to the end for me anymore. It's not about all that I've accomplished in the past, but it's being able to sit out here in the snow enjoy a little peace because that's what I got this moment. Now I'm going to go back up that hill. I'm going to go put some work in on the sawmill, changing out the blade. Me and Horatio might cut up some more wood, lumber and I got some work to do. But right now I'm enjoying sharing with you that I found the journey of just taking a couple minutes here to relax or when I'm in the middle of a little bit of sorrow, understanding that that's what I need to go through at that moment and that's part of my journey and just like this moment of relaxation out in the snow down by the river is going to incorporate into my life and teach me something that I can use later so will going through that bit of sorrow or grief that I'm experiencing so anyway I hope that whatever it is I gotta get my props back and of course I had to pick the heaviest part of snowplow 3.0 that remains to walk back up the hill with, but I'll have fun doing that. That'll, I can be grateful because that part of my experience will remind me next time, leave the metal up there and bring the wood. So whatever it is you do today, wherever it is you go, I hope that you can appreciate exactly where you're at, everything that you've had in the past that prepared you for that moment and understand it does not have to rule your destiny. It's just that moment you can enjoy it. Life's about the journey, at least for this old hillbill estate of gander. So whatever it is you do, wherever you go, I hope that you find peace and appreciate the journey and the moment that you got. Well, I gotta get the shameless plug all the time too. If you like our content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. There's a little bell down there, I think, that you can uh, punch on and it'll notify you when we put out new stuff. If you're not a subscriber, we'd surely appreciate your subscription. And don't forget to share with your friends and family because they might like our antics and adventures too. Just saw you like an update on property.